we all know that when we are governing somebody an organization or we are governing some institution we are going to be opposed and we are going to face challenges and we are going to face obstacles and we are going to face problems by those who don't share the same ideas with us, those who don't share the same goals with us, those who don't share the same outcome like us. So they will oppose. That's why you have a government and you have opposition. So everything the government does, the opposition will oppose. And everything the opposition does, the government will oppose. So there is, you know, positive side and the negative side in every aspect of our lives. Now, be very attentive. We also have a positive side in the mind and we also have a negative side of the mind. So, DT, DT is on the right side. I'm just using, um, just using it as a figure of speech, meaning on the right side and ADT is on the left side. Both mothers giving birth to different thoughts because the deutas are like thoughts, positive thoughts, and the asuras are like negative thoughts. I'm giving not just the katha itself, but the philosophy, which is very important for us to understand how we can apply this in our lives. So, Diti is giving the positive thoughts and, uh, sorry, Aditi is giving the positive thoughts and DT is giving the negative thoughts. So there is this struggle between the positive side of our mind and the negative side of our minds. You don't have to be a Hindu for this. You don't have to be an Indian, an African, a Japanese, a Portuguese or following uh, Christianity or Islam. You have to be a human being that has a mind. And once we are a human being with a mind, we are going to be affected by or influenced by positive thoughts and negative thoughts.